Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, once again, I will be asking more important questions which will be important for the upcoming CSR Net Exam, Gate Exam, and other similar exams too. So let's see how many of you will be able to answer all these important questions, and you will be able to check out your level of preparation with these questions too. Also guys, one more thing, as you all will be familiar with the latest update we are having regarding the Unacademy subscription. So as per this update, soon there can be the price hike by up to 20% okay, on Unacademy subscription amount. And if you want to start attending the regular live sessions of well-structured and well-planned courses by the top educators we are having on Unacademy, so then you can take the Unacademy Plus or the Iconic subscription before there will be the price hike. And whenever you will proceed further to take the subscription, you can use and apply the referral code that's going to be Anjali Aurora or Anjali A Live as mentioned here on the screen. So by using and by applying any one of the referral codes, you will be able to get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. Also guys, we are going to have the free unit wise PYQ test available on the learning app. You can check them out. Another thing is what are the benefits you will be getting in the iconic and the plus subscription. All that has clearly been shown on this screen slide right now. And I hope it's getting clear from here to everyone. I hope each and everything clear to all you guys now we will be continuing the discussion about the questions which we are considering in this session today so basically the first question is do you know about the virial theorem which relates the average kinetic energy with the average potential energy if yes note it down in your notebook and if no i will be telling you here on the screen that that how it relates uh, relates the different parameters and what exactly is this theorem okay so i'm just gonna wait for you to let me know what it is otherwise i'm just gonna write it here so for example you know that v is proportional to r to the power n okay for example you know this so as per the virial theorem the average kinetic energy will be equal to n upon 2 times the average potential energy this is the virial theorem if you were even not familiar with it, get to know about it right now because it's very, very, very much important. Another important question I would like to ask here is regarding the change in the uh, eigenvalues of any as you make any kind of changes in the matrix. So, for example, for any matrix M, you know about its eigenvalues, which are lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. With this matrix M, you are constructing the M square matrix. So, how the eigenvalues of the matrix will be changing? That's the next point. If you know about it, just mention it in the comments. And if you don't know about it, I will let you know then. So, get to know about the next step is the eigenvalues form changes in the same way as we make any changes in the matrix form. So, as from the M matrix, we will be constructing or making the M square matrix. So, same way what will happen? have to construct uh, consider the similar changes in used to which will give us lambda one square lambda considering in the matrix given to us or the actual matrix similar changes we have to consider in the eigenvalue that's the main point here okay that's what we need to consider anytime if we want to solve any such type of question if we are going to talk about the next thing here that is going to be related to another important concept and what's that i'll be telling you but let me know in case if in any of these two points if there is any doubt you are going to have or anything you want to ask about these things we will be trying to consider it so our next question is do you know what is the total time derivative of any function in classical mechanics total time derivative of that function if you don't know about it i'm going to tell you that's going to be it to the poison bracket of the function with the hamiltonian plus partial differentiation of it with respect to time that's how you will be able to write it so these are the three different concepts we have talked about one is the virial theorem as for which if you know about dependency on r r to the power n or like that how 
you will be able to relate the average kinetic and the potential in a that if you are having any metrics given to you and you make any kind of changes in the metrics so what kind of changes in the eigenvalue you have to consider know about or you want to find the total time derivative of any given function so in that case what you will do okay so that's how you have to consider it the poison bracket of a with h plus delta a upon delta t that's what you have to consider okay it was something very important and i hope you are already familiar with these points but if no you get to know about these points now and if yes that's great so let's keep it this much right now in the session guys and yes if you want to start attending the regular live classes of the well structured and well planned courses by the top educators then you can take the unacademy plus or the iconic subscription and start your preparation under the guidance of top educators and you can use and apply the referral code that's going to be anjali arora or anjali al as mentioned here on the screen so that you'll be able to get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank